whatever. It was like you get fifty yards, fifty, 50 yards, yards a, a carry. Everybody was like, well, if I would have got it, blah blah. Bitch, you didn't get it. <laughs> 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 it was right there too. Yo, I didn't get it. Like, I saw, I saw, I saw it, shit, but I was it's like, one thing. It's one thing if like it was like a fast, like a hectic game. It was like we. It was Bro, Griff, the ball was literally it was blocked. Or was it blocked? Yeah, it was, yeah, it was blocked. Right? It was blocked. And the ball was sitting there for like five seconds. And the coaches were like, somebody pick it up. And Drew came up and picked that up and ran for 50 yards, bro. Bro, when I tell you, for me picking pick up the ball, way. to me getting hit on the sideline, I don't remember anything that happened. Right. Yes, I, I was rushed. zoned out. I was like, like rush. Yeah. You was just running. I was just running, bro. I was like, and then, and then like, they were like, Drew, you almost fumbled. I was like, I don't remember that. Right. Uh, I was like, fuck. I saw the film. I was like. They were like, I would have did this. I would have did this. I've seen people that said that had the ball in their hands. And they run out of bounds, so I'm confused. <laughs> you know what I mean? What? Jewel Pace, I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. Military though, so I've lived everywhere. Play defensive tackle. Rashawn Coleman, senior, uh, wide receiver. Griffin Watley, freshman from Atlanta, Georgia. Really, it's just more fast paced than high school. It's really pretty much the same thing, it's just more tempo and just you gotta really pay attention and not slack around. It might be a little too early. We'll see about camp and you know how they do things, how they run things. I think I'm just trying to help out whoever is kind of feeling out of place or kind of not knowing what's going on. Um, I feel like that's more of my role now compared to what, you know, learning from the older guys. And, you know, me being a senior this year, I feel like the best thing I really can do, you know, aside from staying in shape and, you know, and, and running plays the best that I can is to help younger guys and, you know, guys that are moving to um, the wide receiver position. And if I'm able to do that and help them make, make them feel more comfortable, I think that'll just be a, a big thing for our offense. I haven't set any like, strict goals. I mean, I just want to, I want to build off of what anything that I was able to do last year. Obviously, I know as a team standpoint, we didn't really do a lot, but there were some sparks where I felt like we really could build off that and go into the next season. And uh, there was just plenty of teams that I feel like we just didn't play well against them. I'm looking forward to playing them. So I guess not necessarily a numbers standpoint as far as goals go, but as far as teams, there's a lot of teams on the radar that I just kind of want to knock off that pedestal. I feel like personally for me, it's like physical has always been like my, my like my weak, my weak point. Like going in the weight room, like I work hard and I work hard like every day, every time I'm in the weight room by myself, I got to do what I got to do to get better. So I think strength wise, I think that's, that's something that I, I'm still improving on, but I think I've improved a like so so much on but uh also i think my mentality towards playing football has changed like greatly i i had this mentality coming in freshman year and sophomore year like i'm a nice guy if anybody know, if anybody knows me I'm, like, I'm a guy you can get along with and i kind of bring that with me on the field only because it's like i had that mentality where it's just a game and so like yeah i take it seriously yeah i want to do well but at the end of the day like they're playing on the other side they're playing for the same reason i am they want to be they want to do well so like i just had that mentality where i'm like go hard but remember it's a game but then like I now realize that you can still have the mentality and still you know hit a dude in the face and then get hey like give him a high five at the end of the end of the game you know what I'm saying because mm -hmm. he and that's that and that's what respect is that's that's being able to hit somebody in the mouth and, and play hard and then be able to shake his hand like man you did a good job you will me some plays I will be some players it's, it's tough because especially D line man it's playing interior D line at that playing against guards Boys are literally like their goal is to put you on your back, hitting the neck, hitting the face, hitting the groin. It's it's tough, man. It's tough, and it's tough to look the other guy in the eye. But like he's just trying to play the game. He can't take things to heart like that. The people that really talk trash, really just try to they just try to just try to get in your head, and I just try to keep a calm, like calm demeanor, and I just just play the next play. And if I drop a ball, they'll still talk trash to me. I just play the next play. Really, it's more of the starters. If they talk trash to me, I, I'll try to beat them on the play. And if they don't really back up their talk, then I really know what they're about on the field. But it's more like I'm just trying to get my reps in and trying to prove myself to start this upcoming season. Yeah, I usually engage in trash talk with people that I know. And um, obviously with these teammates and, you know, our team, like we've known each other. We've went through a lot. And uh, if it's – if it's just somebody I just I just meet, it's just cordial, you know what I mean? It's it's just playing the game, you know, it's a great game. And, you know, having the ability to play is, is a tremendous gift. But, you know, until we get to strap, you know, strap our helmets up against another team, you got to find somebody to kind of give you that that edge, you know what I mean? And 
and you gotta find you gotta you almost have to trick yourself to be able to get to another level. So when I when people trash talk and you know I do I, I do the exact same thing. You know people gotta say something to kind of set set a standard and, and set a goal for themselves in that moment. And you know I have the utmost respect for anybody who who doesn't talk trash and who does because if, if they back it up then that's definitely something that's really neat. But it's it's all fun and games. You're gonna get beat plays. You just are. It's just it's part of the game. I mean, that person's supposed to be good too. You know, especially with this coaching staff that we have, they wouldn't let somebody that was subpar, you know, out on the field. So, you know, any chance I get to have, you know, put a little bit more fun in the game, I, I usually try to take advantage of that. I just want people to to remember that I made the most out of, you know, an opportunity I was given. I mean, it wasn't it wasn't glamorous in any way, you know, and, and times were tough, you know, most of the time. But you know, still being able to show up to practice every day. And, you know, show up and, and be there for my teammates when they needed me the most. I want to be remembered as the guy who literally started from nothing. There's not a time in your life, whether, whether it's football or just doing a regular job, that you won't have to be like, you won't have to prove to somebody that you're, you're, doing, some, you're doing what you're doing for a reason and you're good at it. Rashawn got the edge right now, man. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Rashawn going to win win any day. Oh, week. Mickey, I'm not talking to you. <laughs> What's the last time you were on the field? <laughs> you're hurt I, half I the time. I started every game I've been here. You start every game? Yeah, How many games have that been? Like four? Snap. Him? One step away from being out of here. Let your ass up. Get out of Look, the yeah, if we beat, beat yeah. no, no, no. If we beat, don't yeah. they throw it to the receiver? Yeah, I'm not in. I'm saying the object got to play is you coaching if up he, the wrong person. Yeah. behind the safety. Coach up your quarterback. No, I'm telling you that he was open. That's no, he wasn't. He was open. No, he wasn't. If we can get behind he you, made, he open. One more. Hey, hey, I, I, I don't do a 30. Coach, you lead it, lead it, bro. This I don't see how we get proper Dorsey plays without Coach Hill. Hey, freaking lead. James. Ooh. Yeah. What? 2020 in this bitch about to take over. Mm -hmm. Hey, defense grind today, baby. Better tell the offense wake up. If he's behind the safety, he's open. Good catch. But I really don't get it. I don't get it. <laughs> like, I really don't get it. Old time, just say to the camera. What you say, old time? Old time, what you say to the camera? Old time, what he say to the camera? Old time, I've had the places we've been out here. We've been out here for three weeks. Touchdown. Touchdown. Hey, there's a whole different story when the pass come on, bro. Whole different story when the pass come on, dog. Hey, you already know what's up with me, dog. <laughs> he just got scored on, and he just got scored on the end. Okay, you in the way. You. The size nigga out here. Last time I said yesterday, I ain't gonna argue nobody ain't got no resume, so you can't talk to me, cuz. Look up my stats, look up your stats. I, still, hey, I got a pick just like you got a pick. Be in your resume, then talk to me. That's what I thought. Stand against me. Tony, come look at these cleats. Y'all want to see something nice? So, we just got them, um, them new helmets. The uh, matted white with the Revo Speed. They ain't seen them yet, but they going to see them sometime today. So, whenever they come down, they get to come down and see the new cleats and see the new helmets. So, that'll be your thing for the next couple of days. I see how mine looking a little bit, but I'm assuming y'all can see it. It's matted, Revo Speed. Ooh. I like it a lot. I love it, actually. Whoa! You know we got these new cleats in, you know? <laughs> Looking 
coming. Oh, you looking nice. You see how they just flash. I better be getting them. I'm getting them. I need them right there. I need them right there. I'm going to send them to him a fuck, boy. Hey, y'all boy. Let me see it. You rocking this face back? Yeah, I like yeah, this. Yeah, this. Like yours? Mm -hmm. Look, man, everybody don't get this helmet, man. This Kendall Morris helmet, man. Oh, the OVC get that, man. Everybody don't even get that helmet, dog. <laughs> For the mat. <laughs> the thing is nice, though. No, we get our shit left. Skill position. Oh, yo, yo.